Now we're going to talk about the optional at extra cost software, which is called TorqueView, and I'm running version 4.0 here. So, uh, like I said, our transducers that we have here are equipped with the USB connection. Makes it easy to plug a thing right into the computer, hit auto USB, or select auto USB here, and then hit search, and the thing just finds it, and then it asks you to select it. So you do that, and then you have torque view, uh, which is more of a dashboard type of thing with big dials. And it, of course, it's got torque and speed. If you want more, you can add a temperature gauge. You can also add a power indicator at the top here if you want to do that. Um, there's some handy buttons at the bottom for zeroing the peaks and zeroing the torque value. And of course, this thing's, this transducer's been operating, so it's at a happy temperature right here. And I'll just give you an idea what that looks like here on this screen. We'll just turn it on and we get a speed right there and no torque because I'm not twisting on it. Um, we'll turn it off. But basically, that's what this does. Okay, but there's other tabs up here. We can, we can look at the, uh, the same thing happening here. Torque, power, and speed, RPM, power, and then peak on each of these two. Or, I'm sorry, on all three of them. Newton meters here, watts and RPM, and the peak values of those. We can reset our peaks. We can even re-zero uh, re the transducer right here. Another feature of this is that we have the chart, and you can configure, basically, you can configure the scales on the chart, and I can start the chart going right here. We can run the transducer up to 2,500 again, and we can see it happen, and there it goes back down again. Now, if you wanted to do something different with that, you can put the torque in the center. So we've got our blue line going right here. And I'll show you what else we can do. We can do a setup right here. And we can set our own scales uh, as you would expect to be able to do so. I'm going to set my torque to uh, 0 0.1 Newton meter, just for fun. And I'm going to set my speed maximum up to uh, 3,000 RPM, all right? So we're going to try that, and we're going to go back to our chart, and we're going to see how things look now. They're even bigger. Um, so I'm going to clear the chart, and we're going to start again. And we're going to watch a little bit of a torque impulse as the speed builds up. Okay, so here we go. Bingo. So there's the speed starting, and it had to accelerate the handle that's, uh, or the ro it's, there's a ro uh, circular handle on this transducer, and had to get that mass up to speed, and that's the little impulse that resulted from it. So there you, there you have it. That's one thing that you can do with this, okay? And then we, we also had the same type of uh, display going on here automatically as well. I'm going to go back to the chart and just stop it. Okay, so I can stop the chart. And then you can also hit another button here if you want to export it. You can export it to various other types of formats that are available right here. Okay, so that's, that's the, uh, the TorqueView software. Um, this is a demo mode and it's good for uh, hundreds of operations or, or initiations, initializations I should say. You can use it hundreds of times before you need to buy it. So it's something that's uh, it's a, it's a good deal I think. This is an example of the analog torque output. The upper trace in yellow is speed and the lower trace in, in magenta is torque. If I I have a transducer here that is equipped with a couple of knurled hand wheels for demonstration purposes. And if I twirl the wheels, of course, I can get a, a, a torque or a rather a speed output out of the thing. I wanted to, to demonstrate that a clockwise input into the torque transducer results in a positive voltage, a torque output like this. <clears throat> and a counterclockwise input into the torque transducer results in a negative like this, negative voltage output. And of course, the, the, the transducer is useful for, for both dynamic and static torque measurement.
Okay, when you first turn the transducer on, it runs through a power on self test. It's got a simple two color LED in the front of it, and it starts out a little bit red, and then it goes through its, its power on self test, blinks several times, and should end up with a steady green light like this. Here it goes. Okay, it's completed its power on self-test successfully. It's operating and there's no faults found in the transducer.